starts right now. We are going to talk about the collapse of cryptocurrency exchange FTX. The latest former Alameda Research CEO Caroline Ellison now telling a judge that Sam Bankman Fried and other top FTX officials received billions of dollars in secret loans from Alameda. According to a transcript of a mid December plea hearing on seal late last week, Ellison said she agreed with Bankman Fried to hide the fact that Alameda could borrow unlimited money from FTX. Ellison and FTX co founder Gary Wang have now both pleaded guilty to charges relating to the collapse of FTX. Joining us to talk about this so much more, I want to talk about China. I want to talk about a lot of stuff. We got former SEC chairman Jay Clayton here. He's a non executive chair of Apollo, a CNBC contributor. He's also on the board of American Express. And I should say, if we do talk about FTX, that I believe that Sullivan and Cromwell, which you are of counsel of, uh, or of counsel to, I should say, um, is involved with the FTX bankruptcy, but on the, for the company side. Correct. Correct. Okay. Can we just talk uh, for, a sec for a second about the, the SBX, uh, F SBX, the SBF of it all, in terms of the bail hearing? Everybody's sitting around going, oh, my God, he claims he has no money. How is this, this $250 million? He doesn't have $250 million. His family is signing, signing for it. They didn't pay 10 percent. They didn't even put up $25 million, which is typically how this would work. You'd put up about 10 percent. Is this some kind of sham deal? What is this? I don't think it's a sham deal. I think, look, you have, a, you have experienced federal prosecutors, federal judge all weighing in on this. Um, you, don't see, you don't see any real complaints from what I would say is the experienced uh, community. There was a, obviously a determination that he's not a flight risk. Um, and I think that, I think that this, this part of the story uh, will fade away. That's but my who view. had leverage? So the, the way I see it and the way I understand it, there was some back and forth before he left the Bahamas, meaning there was an extradition issue, which is he could have objected to an extradition. He didn't. Mm -hmm. As part of that, they agreed to some kind of bail uh, proposal in advance of that to try to actually figure this out. He clearly wanted to get out of that prison in the Bahamas, which was not so great. Uh, I think the prosecutors were, by the way, worried about him being in that prison. Uh, unclear what could happen to him in that, in, in that context. I mean, there's sort of a lot of issues that go into this, and people say, how is it possible that a lot of people ahead of, a here, ahead of their own trial can't even get out of prison, can't get bail, and this guy can potentially uh, steal $8 billion if, in fact, that's what, what, he, what, he, what ultimately has happened here, and that he's, you know, hanging out at his parents' house. I'm, you know, right? That's the critique. Well, look, and you, and you, as you often do, did a great job laying out all of the various considerations that lead to a result. Like, you want an expeditious um, extradition? Uh, you want to get to the bottom of this. Obviously, the American people are all watching this. If you're a prosecutor, if you're involved in the justice system, you want to move quickly to assure people that when something like this happens, you can act. All of those things weigh in the balance of these types of decisions. So right. as, as far as you know, where do we stand from a prosecutorial point of view, uh, they have their person. They have what you refer to the transcript. Um, if you look at the SEC complaint, the CFTC complaint, you can see a, a what I would say is a detailed factual predicate laid out as to what the charges are here. So if, right. if I'm in that position today, I feel pretty good. Okay. Um, the, but the $250 million number, because I think the public doesn't understand even what bail is. People think $250 million bail means you actually have to put up $250 million half the time, that, let, let alone the 10% piece, which is actually what typically happens. And this is even atypical in, in that mm -hmm. regard. Um, is that just like a fictitious number for press release purposes? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't want, whether it's 100 million, 250 million, 50 million. Um, the question is, how, mu how much money, how many assets are at risk for the people who have posted? So you know, right. how, how incented are they to make sure right. that the defendant shows up? That's, okay, so, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's so the simple Here's story. the next piece. Okay, so we, now we have Caroline Ellison, we have uh, Wang, and, and possibly others who I imagine they're, they're flipping. When I say flipping, prosecutors flipping. If you are Sam Bankman-Fried, what do you do at this point? Meaning, do you, do you plead? Do you not plead? If, if he were to get anything, if, if you were to be convicted, um, you could see this being a Madoff situation where he would actually be in prison for the rest of his life. He's 30 years old right now. Right. Right. Do right. you think that you could plead guilty? In, what kind of settlement could potentially be politically palatable where you could say, I, I will plead guilty, I will spare everybody, uh, you know, going through, you know, years of trials and, and, and whatnot. But uh, for what? What kind of sentence would, would be acceptable to the public that, that 
you think would be a reasonable deal? Look, I'm, I'm not a criminal defense attorney. Right. You know, we, so we're all we're all sort of uh, armchair quarterbacks on exactly. this. Let's let's and, and which is probably what's been discussed around the dinner table yes. over the last few days at Andrew's dinner table. At my yeah. dinner table, we were trying to we were trying to figure it out, thinking through, you know, is is would would 30 years, 40 years, 50 years be be the answer? You know, all of these things will be the subject of negotiation if there is if if there is some kind of plea arrangement, and. Like, like you said before, there's a ton of considerations that are going to go into this. Are we going to get to the bottom of it? Are, are, we, are we going to demonstrate that? Right. That's, you know, so w we will see. I, I think there will be tremendous pressure to reach a resolution absent a trial, though.